the 27th <clears throat> of March uh, about uh, 7.45, 7.50 a.m. This is the startup. You hit the link and to uh, the weather page thing with that. Put your own zip code in here. For me, it's Put your own in there. Hit search. New page will come up. Okay, whenever I say weather stats, if you can just get this front page right here, it's got all of the basic information you need to make this a productive event <laughs> for people trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah, normally this map isn't here, but we've got this snowstorm coming in, so we've got an extra alert up. Scroll on down, and you'll have your locals for the next day or two. Uh, if you want to go down to this map. Alright, sorry about this shaky camera work, but I tried the tripod and it just wasn't working out. But down here, you see weather and motion. Click on it. The page comes up. Wait a second or two, it's on your surface. Scroll on down, there's a map, and it's going in motion. My batteries is being cranky, so I'm going to shut off for a second while this loads. Okay, on this page, you'll see down here, this is one, yeah. Happen to look around my camera if you're wondering what's always with it is. Hit weather layers. Map's pretty much going to stay the same because you are on radar, which is Doppler. You see these others down here. These, these will bring up different maps. Uh, this one here, every five minutes will sweep. This one is every ten minutes will sweep. And over here is international. These are three-hour sweeps. So you get a 30-hour loop. And this is where some very peculiar things are happening right now. So, I'm going to click on it and shut off. Let this sucker load. It takes forever. Now, it's extremely dark. Things showing up have got me quite concerned. This is something new. I haven't seen it until like this last week. I'm going to scroll out and let's look at the nation. Oops. hot spots right now. This Four Corners region, which is spread out over into Kansas, you drop down into some areas of Oklahoma, and down here are Texas that has come up from New Mexico, and then over here there is another batch that pops up. I've been watching this stuff forever. Uh, Three areas, three days now. Now these are three-hour sweeps. These suckers go on and off. Hey, there's something wrong here. The Akin Trail watchers, please get your maps out and learn how to use them to aid people tracking medical problems. Let's find out if this stuff is a uh, going along with the strange happenings. Remember, my, a lot of the things have an incubation period that varies. So, uh, usually the longest incubation period for anything that I know of, at the most, is about 21 days. But there's a lot of stuff recently that's real quick. Uh, we're talking a, a 
day or two, then you know, problems arise. It's easy to check and see what's going on. Look at your uh, school records for attendance. A lot of papers posted, or you can actually just call. And in uh, emergency rooms, since people can't really afford to do the normal go visit the clinic thing, a lot of people wait till they just get back sick and go to the emergency room. And so there's another good place to, uh, and you can see what they're turning up. But we need to keep an eye on these people. I think the dedicated chemtrail watchers can do it. It's important whenever you film your chemtrails, please put that very front weather stat page up with your video clip if you can. And you can do a screen save capture and put it at the end, put it at the beginning, I don't care. But it will certainly help those trying to figure out this mess. Thank you very much. This is the 27th.